What's going on, socialites? This is Now You Know. Now, this Astral World tragedy is honestly consuming social media because there's now so many layers to this tragic event that took place, and Travis Scott is now catching major heat and major lawsuits while trying to do the best that he can to support the victims in this situation. But before we get into all of this, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and make sure that you have your post notifications turned on so you never miss another video. Now, as we said, the situation took place during Travis's 2021 Astral World Festival, which had a crowd of over over 50,000 people in NRG Park in Houston, Texas, which technically was not at capacity if we're talking pre-COVID. However, post-COVID is a different story. Now, the beginning of this festival is honestly when things already started to look like there was going to be a problem. Videos surfaced to people rushing through barriers just to get in. However, what some people might be missing is the fact that the initial video of these people rushing past the barriers was not to see Travis, who of course was the headliner. It was to see people like SZA, Master P, Don Toleran, Roddy Rich, and Metro Boomin. So from the initial video, it was clear that there was an issue with security prior to Travis's set, which again was the biggest one. Now, once it came time for him to take the stage, again, all 50,000 people were at his stage. And if you've seen or been to a Travis Scott prior to this tragic event, you know that his crowd can get a little bit rowdy with things like mosh pits and just overall excitement to see him perform. Now, in other videos that have since been shared to social media, it's clear that there still were crowds of people trying to get to the front of the stage to get up close. And that seems to be the start of where this tragedy began. Now, while many were rushing to the stage, some did end up being trampled and stuck under hundreds of people running in one direction. Now, initially reports were coming out that at least 300 people had been injured and eight people were confirmed dead due to being trampled by the crowds. However, the story continued to grow as officials were on the scene and social media videos began to pop up. Now, while all of this was going on again during the show, so Travis is still on stage performing and even bringing out people like Drake, people in the crowd literally started falling out and becoming unconscious. Now, according to reports, sources are saying that someone close to the overall festival shared that someone in the crowd allegedly went crazy and began injecting people with some sort of drug which included a security guard being injected now the source also said that officials were trying to figure out if the drugs being injected to people caused many of the attendees who were actually stuck to go into cardiac arrest as well as an investigation into if those eight who died had been injected with the drug now with the use of social media people who were actually at the concert began sharing videos of what all was going on from their point of view and let's just say some of these videos are honestly disturbing Disturbing. In one video, you can see tons of people engaging in a mosh pit, which as we said, often happens at a Travis Scott concert. But there's also videos of people fighting while in the middle of crowds and other videos where you can literally see people scrunched up like sardines with the look of fear in many of their eyes. Now in other videos, which have not been confirmed as any of the people who had passed out or gone into cardiac arrest, you can see people being pushed out of the crowds and into the hands of officials like this video. <laughs> However, there are also other videos like this that show the crowd asking for Travis to stop the show. Stop the show! Stop the show! Stop the show! As well as videos of people coming up on stage, literally trying to tell the cameraman that people are dead in the crowd. <laughs> not at the show speculated that Travis continued without acknowledging that people needed help. However, videos did begin to surface of Travis actually stopping the show to a certain extent and leading paramedics to where people needed to be helped. Need somebody to help him. Somebody pass him out here. Somebody pass him out here. Hold on. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Now, following the festival, which again turned really tragic during Travis's set, many began to send out their condolences. Now, this included some of the performers like SZA, who took to her Twitter saying, Speechless about last night. I'm actually in shock and don't even know what to say. Just praying for everyone in Houston, especially the families of those that lost their lives. And Roddy Rich, who said he'll be donating his compensation to the families of the victims. Now, many were concerned as to what Travis actually had to say about this situation, given the fact that it took place during his set at his show. Now, the Astro World page did send out a memo to their Instagram adding it that not not only would the next day of the show be canceled, but that they're working with authorities in any capacity to help figure out what was going on. Now, mind you, there were multiple videos shared on social media of fans hopping on ambulance trucks and golf carts carrying people out of the festival, which was not good whatsoever. But a fan took to Twitter to expose some of the medical staff that were on site, sharing that they themselves are a trained medic and began performing CPR on a girl who was in distress next to her. She continued on sharing that when EMT arrived to the scene where they were at, they were clueless as to what they needed to do to help the girl out, so much so that the girl's friend actually had to do mouth to mouth for her. Now, Travis did eventually hop on Instagram with the message to his fans and the families of the victims saying this. I just want to send out prayers to the to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. 
you know, my fans, my fans, like, my fans really mean the world to me. And I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Um, we've been working closely. Uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this. The city of Houston, HPD, fire department. You know, everyone to, uh, you know, help us help us figure this out. So if you if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Now, it was recently reported that after the festival, which again continued to the very end of the show, Travis actually had no idea that the eight people had actually died and actually went to Dave and Buster's following the festival for an after party, which could have been the reason for the delay of his message. They're also saying that Drake, who was the one who threw the after party, also had no idea what had happened, but later on did send out a message via his Instagram story saying, I spent the past few days trying to wrap my mind around this devastating tragedy. I hate resorting to this platform to express an emotion as delicate as grief, but this is where I find myself. My heart is broken for the families and friends of those who lost their lives and for anyone who is suffering. I will continue to pray for all of them and will be of service in any way I can. May God be with you all. Now, many others took to their social media sharing their condolences like Beyonce, whose Be Good page posted something, given the fact that this all took place in her hometown. Kylie Jenner, who of course is the mother to soon to be two of Travis's kids, also posted something, as did Kendall and Kim, who were of course family with Travis, given the fact that he's a father to their niece and Kylie's unborn baby. Now, some of the aftermath that's taking place includes Travis refunding all those who purchased tickets to Astroworld overall, as well as announcing that he'll be paying for the funeral costs of the eight who've lost their lives. Now, he's also partnered with a mental health service to provide free mental health services to anyone who was affected by this tragedy. But the biggest aftermath that's happening after this is the lawsuits that are coming their way. Travis and Live Nation have been hit with two lawsuits so far, which include one from the family of a nine-year-old boy who's currently fighting for his life after being trampled. But there's so much more that can be unpacked around this tragic incident, including Travis pulling out of his upcoming performance at day in Vegas, but socialites, knowing all of this information plus more that you've seen on social media, what are your thoughts about what's been happening? Let us know in the comment section down below. As always, make sure you like us on Facebook, you're following us on Instagram, and you're subscribed to our YouTube channel because now you know what's trending.